Hello, 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 everyone. Yay! Happy Wednesday! It's hump day! Woo! Oh my goodness. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. Lauren's back. <laughs> I am. There was someone commented, and you could feel the worry in their heart. They said, what about Lauren? <gasps> On Monday's live stream, it was so funny. I was like, "She's fine." Yeah. So, oh my, you. Oh, we're getting a phone call. No, no, you had your sound on. Oh, you could hear. I could. He you could hear us. Yes. So I guess they're not used to seeing you without me. I know. Me without you. That's so and funny. I love And then Caitlin it. and Alicia yeah, tag team all the time. I love it. We just like to switch it up. So much fun. Well, welcome back, everyone. Today's video, we are so so excited because. We have a Dollar Tree project, which are always so popular. Absolutely. On top of that, I decided that not only is it going to be a Dollar Tree project, but we're going to cut fabric with our Cricut Maker. Um, and on top of that, I'm going to teach you guys my secret to cleaning my Cricut mat with something everyone has. Wow. Which is a baby wow. Caitlin here in, on the team was with me as I was preparing for that little added tutorial in the tutorial. And she really thought like, Tanner, all our fabric grip mats are ruined. It's over. We just need to get new ones. I said, no. I said, where's the baby wops? And then we interrupted Lauren's filming, but that's a whole other story. Oh, I'm glad you did. <laughs> but we got the baby wops. I, I did the tutorial and then Caitlin looks at it after it dries and she's like, it's like brand new. And I'm like, that's the magic of the baby wipe because what happens here is that there isn't a lot. You're going to take the whole set There now. was someone that said that I was kind of getting cut <laughs> off. I literally said that before they, we went live. So sorry. Oh, I smell Continue. today, so that's why. <laughs> but um, anyway, what I love about this tutorial I'm going to teach inside of cleaning your Cricut mat with a baby wipe is that the adhesive is still there. It's just, you're, it's piled up with gunk. Yeah. So you're not cleaning the adhesive off, you're just cleaning the gunk off of the adhesive. So it's gonna be really, really good. I think you guys are gonna love all aspects of today's video. Lauren, I will tell you, there's a little part of this tutorial that is gonna keep people on their toes. Yeah. So the heat transfer vinyl onto the actual cutting board, the cutting board's textured. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be a little, you know, it's, that's going to be the only part where you're just going to want to like really give your all for your crafting. And we are super, super excited for that. But yeah. how's everyone doing? Everyone is just saying, hey, dropping from where they're from. Yay, um, hello, hello. Laughing at me for hitting the back <laughs> of the thing. It's okay. Um, so yeah, we have 145 friends hello, with us today. Everyone. I hope you really get excited. If you are excited about this Dollar Tree craft, drop us an emoji. Yes, let us know yes, you're yes, excited. Yes. Um, so that we can see how many people we have like that's super excited for, for the sure. Y'all, everyone getting registered and actually already involved in Maker University has been so amazing. All week in the member only Facebook group, we have been seeing oh, Lauren's project, my project, Kayla. I mean, everyone's projects have been being recreated. Yes. And I actually love that module one has all four of us. Like, yeah. I mean, each one of us have a training in there. So whichever team member you love learning from, you are going to actually get to see an amazing project from for the design space module look at all these emojis yay oh my goodness um so sadie if you'll drop that link for maker you as well i know there might be some of our friends still want to get registered for it go ahead you can drop that link so click it if you need to the coupon code is maker you for 50 dollars off um and then today if you are like i finally want to be a member um you can go ahead and use that coupon code craft at checkout for 30 dollars off so we are so excited whether you have been a friend here for years you just found us we're so excited to hang out with you. Stacy says, I'm loving Maker You, and I have seen all of Stacy's projects. Stacy's rocking it. Stacy is. <sighs> There's so real. many. We are really impressed with how many people dove in and like are getting their work, like putting the work in with Maker You. So congratulations, all of our friends. If you have Maker You and you haven't took, you know, been able to dive in yet, like go ahead and take the um, time to do so. The trainings are so good. They're so thorough. And I mean, the Facebook group will show you the members are rocking it. Yeah, they really are. We do have someone um, 
Brita says hi Hello. from Kilkenny, Ireland. <gasps> Finally got to watch you guys live. She Yay. usually misses out. So glad Hello. to have you guys here. Uh, we're so excited you're That's here. That's amazing. I love seeing international friends. And that was so much fun. Yay. Oh, Michelle's loving it. Kathy is so excited to feel better so she can do module one. We are so excited for you to dive into module one as well. I mean, they're next week's projects. What module comes out next week? Fat? Paper. Paper. Oh, paper. Paper is next week. I'm so excited. Yeah. All of this week's projects, I feel like everyone has a need. Like they're just all like all around amazing. Uh huh. Next week, I really want to make sure that you guys know. Like, for example, I'm teaching um, gold foil invitations. I want you to do the foiling technique on whatever you want to do. You, it doesn't have to be an invite. Right. It can be on a just a regular like thank you card mm -hmm. or whatever you really want it to be. Paper crafting is pretty affordable. Yeah. Um, so there's going to give you plenty of room for trial and error in next week's modules. Yeah. I'll be teaching paper quilling, which <gasps> Ooh. I, um, it's one of those, like, I hope you guys, I, I really do, like, my biggest fear with paper quilling was that I wasn't going to teach enough because if you know or have done paper quilling before, there's so many different things that you can teach and to consolidate that into 45 minutes, 30, sure. 45 minutes. It was really hard. So that's one. You did the the gold foil. Yes. I think I took over Courtney's um, yes. embossing. <gasps> like The embossing is probably my favorite. I do love the embossing. That's probably like the, the highlight yeah. of the le like next week's module. Embossing with your Cricut. Like, Lauren, you used to have a machine. I don't know if through all your research and development you got to see this, but the Cricut Cuddle Bug did you ever hear of that? No. Okay, so it how you used to emboss, which is crazy, you can do this technique now. Um, you used to have to have this very heavy machine and you had to like run it through like plates and it would truly emboss and you had to buy embossing folders. And I mean, it, I, it was the jam. Like any long time Cricut users know what I'm talking about, the Cricut right. Cuddlebug. Um, they still use them in other companies, but like more still rolled dies and things like that. So yeah, hmm. we love it. I'm sure some of you guys have it uh, over there. Anna, Maker University is not a year subscription. It is only um, just your enrollment fee. So once you say yes to Maker U, you can do pay in full, two payment, or up to three payments. So you can pay one payment today, one in 30 days, and one in 60 days. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but you get it forever. So the lifetime of the course is the lifetime of your um, access. So you don't have to pay again or anything like that. Linda has a, hello, oh, everybody has the cuddle bugs. I am a cuddle bug fanatic. I love it. <laughs> I miss it. I miss back in the day making cards and cuddle bug, bug cuddle bugging. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yes, oh my goodness. I'm so excited to dive in to today's project. So I think we're going to dive in and take a look at what we got going on. I say let's do it. Woo let's go over and take a look. I'm so excited. I've got to move my goldfishies. Okay, here we are. Hello, my friends. Happy Wednesday. I uh, was just here with you on Monday, but it does feel like it's been like over a week. I don't know why. Um, our foster babies have been sleeping, which is such a blessing. Lauren, did I tell you how long they slept yet today? That Last night. No, you didn't tell me like how much long, long they slept last night, but when I was at the house yesterday, you said that, that they was slept from 9.30 to 3.30? Well, today, last night, they slept from 9.30 to 4. What? So we're getting, I mean, we're really getting places. We're really, really getting places. So that is super, super fun. And Miss Jill says, I signed up for Maker U yesterday. Do I still get the mug? So Jill, that was actually capped to the first 250 registrants and that was able that was already met um quite a while ago so apologies my friend it was only a limited first batch so we always do fun initiatives when we launch new programs so definitely stay that's a great reason to get plugged in on our email list because our email list knows a ton about all the deals we have so um yeah sorry about that but yay oh hey kathy oh my goodness we're back Today's project, here's what the finished one is. So what we're doing, we're taking the Dollar Tree um, glass cutting boards that are ever so popular. We are actually putting HTV on the front. So obviously like this is not something you're going to actually cut on anymore, yeah. really, because you know your HTV is on the top. And then what we're doing for the back is, first of all, when you look at it, it looks like it was always there. And you guys know our heart here at Maker's Gonna Learn is to always, always, always 
teach you how to make things that look professional and store bought. Like that's why we do crafting in my opinion is to make something that looks custom, but also 100% yours. So you can actually take whatever fabric you want and Lauren, we are actually gonna have the Cricut cut the fabric today. Listen, I love a good this fabric a cut good with a Cricut. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited. We're gonna do it. So if you all are scared to cut fabric with the Cricut, piece of cake today, that is what we're gonna teach you. Um, and then we're gonna actually decoupage it three times. Three is the magic number when we talk about the dishwasher safe Mod Podge. So I'll give you all of this right here and we will then finish it off by heat transfer vinyl onto our um, plate. So yes, you can use the HTV on the tile, M Michelle, but I will tell you that is gonna be not the hardest part, but the part where I want you all to really focus in on, if that makes sense, okay? So if you have any of these, I think today's project's gonna be a lot of fun because you're gonna be able to do the fabric and be able to do the HTV. So those two together are gonna to be able to build something super, super fun. Aaron is pointing out that the profit margin on these is wonderful. I want to uh, just reiterate that I agree with that. These are amazing, especially for decorative. Um, decorative use, having different fabric, all of that goodness. And if you all are interested in making money with your Cricut machine, you want to make sure to stick around to the YouTube channel because Lauren, in May, we're going deep. We have lots of free training coming up all about making money with that Cricut machine and learning more about our program, Design Make Sell. The doors to that program has been closed since uh, I think the end of December, yeah, first of January. Was, it was around December, January, because I yeah. know we talked about it a lot around Black Friday yes, and through December, the month of December. A lot of people jumped in. Right. There's been a lot of shifts, a lot of things going on with Etsy. So we will be addressing those um, coming up in our next month of training. So get ready for that. If you have thought about making money with your Cricut, things like that, everything we teach here at Maker's Gonna Learn helps you to be able to do that if you want. So I think you're gonna really enjoy it. So anyway, looking over at supplies, we can just go overhead real quick. There's not a terrible ton. Um, you're gonna, of course, need the glass cutting board. You're going to need the heat transfer vinyl, which I figured today, we've done so much heat transfer vinyl, I'm gonna teach you the design space, but what we're going to be able to do um, is teach you the fabric cutting, and we just followed typical heat transfer vinyl procedure. So that's already cut out. You're gonna need your fabric. You're going to need your dishwasher safe Mod Podge. And I like to use a regular paintbrush. I don't really like to use a foam brush. And let me tell you why. This dishwasher safe Mod Podge, Lauren, have you ever used this stuff? I've used Mod Podge, but not the dishwasher well, safe specific. Just imagine like it's triple the thickness. Really? So this is like really, really thick, thick, thick. So just be mindful of that, my friends. So that's why I like to use a real, like a real paintbrush, okay? Um, we're also cleaning our Cricut mat today. So if you are a little, if, if your mat's as non-sticky as mine, this technique's go help you a bunch. And we're using the rotary blade. So we're using the rotary blade. And yes, if you bond your fabric, you will be able to use, in your Cricut Explorer, you'll be able to use this blade which is the bonded fabric blade that is available from Cricut for the Explore machines. So bonded fabric, raw fabric, pretty much is the breakdown here. So anywho, that is that. If you have an original Cricut maker, you got this right here. Um, you got the rotary blade. If you have a maker three, like we're using today, unfortunately, they don't come with um, a rotary blade anymore. So that is that. I just want to let you all know. Um, you would get like some bonding. Um, there's a few different fabric bonding out there that you would just like use your easy press and bond to the back of the fabric. It's a lot easier than it sounds. And yes, the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, like I mentioned before, is a lot, lot thicker than traditional Mod Podge. So don't use any regular Mod Podge for this unless you wanna do like 10 coats, but it probably would be too gunky. So this is very specific, believe it or not. Okay, and last but not least, mini easy press. So that is that. Lauren, do we have any questions before we dive over to Cricut Design Space?
Um, Anything specific? No, I'm out of no, other, no, you've pretty much covered what people Yay. are asking. So no questions just yet. Perfect. Well, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space because this one is really, really fun. And I'm super excited you guys get to see this. Um, what you're going to see here is we already added the shapes of our cutting boards. As you guys know, anytime we make a project here at Makers Gonna Learn, we love, love, love to take the blank and add it in as a basic shape. So for example, if we have a, you know, a eight inch circle, which I'm just gonna confirm this is an eight inch circle because this is just blown up for today's example. Um, do, do, do. Yep, this is a little less, this is an eight inch circle, beautiful. So we'll be able to grab over here at shapes. In the free area, we are gonna be able to just select a circle and then we're going to bring this down here. We are going to change the size to eight inches and press enter. And then we can just go bring all this smaller, bring this up and zoom in. Beautiful. So this is our eight inch circle. I'm going to change it to this just to have a background. Now the main part of this right here is I want to make sure you guys know always, always, always measure your projects once or twice before, you know, bringing it over to Cricut and making things different sizes without knowing. So this is the best way to bring your project into design space that we've ever thought of. Okay. Hey, Carol, welcome to the live. Um, what we're actually featuring today is something that I'm really impressed with and I can't wait to show you. So if you have seen over here at our new cut fall area, just click on the newest cut falls. What you're going to see is we have some new customizable cut falls. So if you all are on the fence about saying yes to membership, I want you to think about using some of these customizable cut falls when you become a member. And what we mean by that is just scrolling down and looking for any cut fall that has this right here. So it actually has a little, um, star and a little, you know, edible icon. And this right here is super, super fun. So that means you can customize the cut fall. Um, all four or all, you know, all four of these on the screen, you can do that. Um, I absolutely love being able to put in different definitions for your grandma or Lauren. I mean, oh, down South, we call people me, mom, mama, mm -hmm. Nana, you know, there's Grana. so Grana, yes, <laughs> yes. So what, you know, just taking this example, you would be able to have the design of this cut fall already laid out, but maybe you have other, other ways to describe your family member or anything like that. Okay. So you're going to be able to personalize the file with different fonts. So what we're going to be able to do is show you exactly how to use those today. We're super excited. So let's scroll down. We're using the, this is us. This is us. Oh, the Canadian ones. Thanks, Sin. Um, we are customizing the, this is us option today. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. Okay. So all you need to do is we are going to be able to download this. And when you download this, being a Makers Gonna Learn member, you're going to see here that you're going to get everything you need. So let's click download. And once you've downloaded this right here, I love all the shout outs. We've got a Meemaw, we got Mimi, uh, Canadian, woohoo, um, Grammy. Oh, I love Grammy. Um, and yes, so I've downloaded the cut file, um, zip file. And once we open it, here's the secret, my friends. You're going to open this up and there's going to be four files. You're going to have an SVG like normal, a PNG like normal, but you're getting two additional cut falls. You're getting a curly Sue and an elephant letter. Now these are again, already in your zip file. So you just want to make sure these editable files are saved to your computer. Okay. That is what you're going to want to make sure you're able to do today. Once you have uploaded um, and saved the fonts, by going ahead and clicking on elephant letters, clicking install font, bringing it in, repeating the process to your other file, things like that. Um, 
you will have all of that installed, which is incredible. And now what you'll be able to do is actually bring in that SVG. So let's click upload. Let's click upload image and let's drag and drop that cut file today. So just like normal, the SVG. Now, unless your last name is Burke, which would be very handy, Lauren. I mean, absolutely. The the Burke family is. If we have any, if we have any members with the last name Burke, this is for you, actually. All you have to do is <laughs> size it and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but this is actually in a few different colors, and that's very intentional today, my friends. I want to make sure you are aware. You are able to turn on and off, like, oh, I don't want the greenery, or I can turn that off oh, I don't want, you know, all of this right here, turn that off. Or you can go ahead and, you know, turn off the uh, fonts. And if anyone ever leaves a comment on a live saying, can someone answer my question, please repost the question instead of asking because we can't find it. Um, if you're wanting a more personalized approach with Makers Gonna Learn, we have a customer care team that's available um, seven days a week, and you can email them hi at makersgonnalearn.com. So anyway, what I wanna share with you is how easy it is to truly customize this. So before we jump in to editing this and hiding layers, I wanna use this as inspiration. So we are going to bring up first the, the font that is the B, and the font for B is actually curly Q. So I'm going to go to text, I'm going to go and change this out to curly, um, curly Q. And for this one, we're going to do Crawford, so capital C. This is for Caitlin, and you can scale it up, and you can size it, okay? So Lauren, here's my secret. To make sure it's sized appropriately to fit the designer's like interest, mm -hmm. look at this. I'm just going to put it on top. It's gonna look a little, you know, a little, little um, funny for a second, but have no fear. We're gonna grab another text box and we are going to grab elephant letters. And here's elephant letters. And all we're gonna top in capital, we're gonna top Crawford family. Whoops. And look at this. Scale it down. It's a longer name, so you can choose to just have it a little bit smaller, which is fun. And I'm just going to center this up. And once you're good to go there, you are actually just go hide that B letter. So hide that layer, and boom. Look at that. I love it. And I didn't have to worry about spacing. I didn't have to worry about setting it up. Because if I unhide this layer, Boom. I mean, it looks overwhelming now, right. but everything's laid out perfectly, Lauren. Uh -huh. I mean, think about this. This kind of takes the, the thought out of it. It takes the guesswork out of everything. I, that was really easy even for me. Yeah. No thought. Mm -hmm. So hiding that layer and then boom, my last step is actually to select all of these layers because, you know, we could turn different one on and off. We can go ahead and just weld it. So you can click weld and this is now all one cut fall. So as I scale it up and down, it's one beautiful cut fall. So since I brought this in here to scale appropriately, I can just size it for my actual uh, cutting board. I had a question, Lauren, and I want to hear your thoughts on this. Okay. So some of the friends were saying, Tanner, could we put I saw that. heat transfer vinyl uh -huh. on the back? Are we on the main camera? So my friends, if we put heat transfer vinyl on the back, you're gonna be able to see the texture. And Lauren, I personally don't think you could read it too well. What do you think? What do you think? I mean, if you're doing like, so it's I- It's a hard one. I think you could see that this is us. I think you could see the yeah. C. Yeah. And I think you might might be able to read Crawford Family. I don't think the script font is yeah. something you're going to be able to read. It's a very textured, it's very textured, <laughs> so you want to be careful um, and, you know, kind of just be mindful of it. 
um, and things like that. So that is really impressive. But guys, what did you think about those amazing, amazing customizable cut files? That is a great way where we do all the work, you get to do the customizing. And if you're interested in that and getting access to our thousands of cut files, our hundreds of fonts and so much more, say yes to membership today. It is $30 off for the year membership tier. You'll save $78 going yearly today with that coupon code versus going uh, monthly, which is pretty incredible because you're unlocking some amazing, amazing bonuses. Okay, so Terry asked the question. Hey, Terry. Terry asked our Hello. question. And um, we sincerely apologize. Like we, I went back, like strolling back, looking for your question. However, their question is, I'm trying to decide whether to join <gasps> your group or the Cricket, I'm assuming Cricket, Cricket Access. Cricket Access, okay. That's such a great question. Now, here's the thing about Makers Gonna Learn versus Cricut Access. Obviously, you're gonna get different things with each program um, and the price point's a little different. When you go yearly with us, you get significantly closer to the same apples to apples, but with us, you get like a tenfold. So what I like to recommend to, member, to friends that are considering us versus Cricut Access, we are crafters working for crafters, meaning we have programming like the Cricut Printable Guide. We have the 30 days to master your Cricut program you get. When you say yes to membership, to your membership, you get this programming for free. Cricut Access doesn't actually teach you how to master your Cricut. So if you're a beginner needing help getting started, that is who this program is for on top of the already amazing cut balls and fonts. And I would say our fonts are definitely some of my favorites on top of Cricut Access. Where Cricut Access has more is there's 200,000 images. We don't try to compete with that because you don't need that many. We give you everything you need and more. So is Design Space with Makers gonna learn similar to Cricut Design Space? Terry, we work inside Cricut Design Space. You just download your files from our website and upload the ones you're going to use. So I hope that makes sense. Any of our members, feel free to dive in today um, with your thoughts. Lauren, do you have anything specific to add? We have a commercial license if you go yearly. That's, um, that's a really big um, a really big point there is the fact that once you, um, if you are a part of Makers Gonna Learn, you do get that access. If you are a yearly member, you get access to um, that commercial license so you can actually turn around and sell the crafts that you make exactly um, with no legal uh, worries or yeah. anything like that um well up to like 500 per design yes, yes but yes. i mean that's we have so many and plus we are in the process of coming up out with oh my gosh at least 500 possibly a yes. thousand new cut files a month so we are really really growing our library for yes. you yes 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 we walk with you hand in hand to get that stuff to get it cre to inspire you and we are inspiration education, mo education motivation. and motivation that's our recipe for success for you guys at home so that's what we love you get the community aspect too so for example you can post something in our facebook thread and guys there's so many free cricket facebook groups out there but for this community of validated serious and sincere crafters this is the place for you. You'll find community here. You will be able to have success. And we just want to invite you today. That's why we have this coupon code. Um, Barbara says Cricut Access still charges for extra files. Um, and Terry, I really appreciate you feeling comfortable enough to get on here and ask because we are super, super excited. And Susan, that coupon does not apply for monthly members. That's an amazing question. Thank you for asking my friend. Um, so yay, I love it. So, Betty, you do not have to pay for Cricut Access. Um, you, you get Cricut Design Space for free. Um, and Design Space doesn't allow you to use their files if you stop their access. That's true. My final point, because we could talk about this for yeah, an hour, I know. Um, is that when you say yes to our membership, any file you download while you're a member, guess what? At the end of your membership, if things change, if things pivot, and you cancel. Any file you downloaded, you get to keep forever. Cricut Access is just like Netflix. Lauren, when I start paying, so stop paying for Netflix, I can't watch Full House no more or whatever show. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just some things you want to you know, think about. Terry, read some comments, ask more questions if you need. We're so excited. But 
I'm ready to share with you guys how to cut fabric with that Cricut. So let's go overhead real quick because I want to talk to you guys about cleaning your Cricut mats. Okay, so as you can see on my left, you have a really dirty mat and on your right, you have a really clean mat. Now, how I got here was actually cleaning it with a baby wipe. I did this in a YouTube video last February. So I actually compared cleaning mats three ways. My baby wipe is my favorite way. So Lauren, we were talking about this at the beginning of the show. Mm -hmm. This mat has been loved on. Mm -hmm. It is not sticky, mm -mm. not anymore. But this mat used to be that same stickiness. And as you can tell, she's sticky again. She's sticky now. So this baby wipe is actually going to remove all the gunk. And what it's going to do is kind of bring back that adhesive. Because underneath here, the adhesive is still there. It's just covered up with debris. So we're going to start working in a small corner. And we're going to rub in a circular motion. And we're applying some firm pressure, but not too much. If you apply too much pressure, it is actually going to remove the adhesive. And we don't want that. Um, but you can use some firm pressure to get this debris off. And you can see if you're in certain lot, the texture of the adhesive um, that is still there. So I don't think if you're worried like, what happens if I rub off the adhesive? No, you're good, you're good. Don't don't worry about that. I mean, look at this, oh my, ooh, look mm -hmm. at that. Is that not crazy? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. So anyway, look at this, corner's already good. What you're gonna see here is before your eyes, this is going to be clean, and after it dries, your mat is going to be perfectly brand new. Um, while it's still moist and wet from the baby wipe, it's of course not going to be sticky. But after you let it dry, if you're impatient like me, I, rub, I wave mine in the air. So I'll do that just to demonstrate here in a moment. Um, and these mats get a lot of love here at the office, so we want to make sure we get our money's worth because um, we are definitely economical crafters here. Mm -hmm. um, so the baby wipe method is so good. I mean, Lauren, before our eyes, we're almost done. This isn't even a, I didn't have to go to a sink. That's probably my favorite thing about this. It's not too messy. Right. Um, which is like very much important, important steps for me as a crafter. Someone asked about those wipes being oily. Um, this is actually just a Walmart brand, right? Yeah, but it's free of alcohol. It's free of a lot of the dyes. Uh, there's no oil, really. I, I don't know. I change diapers every day now, so yeah. I don't have any issues using baby wipes. If you do have an issue using baby wipe, what you can do is follow the Dawn dish soap method. I love the Dawn dish soap method. Yeah, but, that was always my go-to. But you have to be at a sink. I know, and, and I get that. And my craft table's not at a sink. I, so. I completely get that, but I was just always, I went with, I was a Dawn dish soap yeah. person. I, love, I mean, the dish soap does work really well. It works extremely well, and it'd probably get a little bit more, but a pack of baby wipes from the dollar store, this, you know, mat, you're going to have the stickiness back. The pink mat is for cutting fabric. So we are actually cutting fabric today this is our piece of fabric, and the crickets go do literally all the hard work. So we are going to just grab my scissors. I need to cut a smaller piece off before we put it on Those the mat. These are not fabric scissors. These are not fabric scissors, Lauren. I am so glad you you mentioned that. Um, would you like to tell us your thoughts about using regular scissors on fabric? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do so it. That's a good. That that's a good thought. That's a pet peeve. <laughs> I, yeah, Courtney and Lauren. Actually, I think it's more like the regular scissors on fabric, whatever. But it's the fabric scissors on, on regular paper, paper yeah, that really I bothers agree. me. I agree that I'm with you when it comes to that, because y'all, it is so special. So we asked. They ask a question about the pink and purple mats. So it. There, there are purple fabric grip mats. It's just these are the are, but I mats, believe the, right? Yeah, they're off but Cricut brand. Is also, Cricut is pink. Yeah, but there's some purple ones that are... That are strong grip at Cricut. Yeah. So anytime we talk about colors, we're talking true Cricut brand. Um, if an off brand does something a little bit different, that's when you just gotta, you gotta read on it. So it just, it should tell you what, what grip it is on it. Um, if you're using nice off brand <laughs> products, if that makes sense. I like to use a brayer to get some of these bubbles out. I do not have my brayer right now, which is fun. You get to see me just like Yeah, it wasn't it. here when I was filming either. Oh no, <laughs> we can 
peel it up and you know just replace it like have no fear this is really easy that's why you have two hands so anyway we apply this down beautiful 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 look at this and ta-da so now our fabric is down on our mat and you guys can see there are no imperfections at all like this is down it's good we are super excited what we're going to do is we are going to be able to go ahead and um, go over to the Cricut and or design space and finish a few steps. Denise says, is there another mat you can use for fabric? I don't have a pink mat. Um, if you're using a maker, I highly recommend this mat. Um, that's just my personal take. So you could try another mat, but this will give you optimal results. So we'll click make it and we are going to cut on the mat and we're gonna press continue and we're cutting the blue circle. I'm just moving it over. Ta -da! Okay, so now we'll click continue. And yes, Anna, the, the fabric grip is totally different than the strong grip. So yeah, we'll browse material. Now Lauren, here, I want you to give me, what should, what should, this is a thicker cotton. No. <laughs> this is a thicker cotton. So what do you think we should set that on? Hmm. I'm going to see their cotton options. Yeah. Light know. cotton, three layers, medium light cotton. No. Hmm. This is going to be interesting. I just want to see what they offer when it comes to, let's just scroll down. So fabric, we could cut it as burlap. Burlap's thick. No. Let's cut it as canvas because it is a thicker cottony material and it's a circle shape. But yeah. it is a different, it's a little different. Or you could just try it on the, um, what was the cotton options? Oh, there was a few. There was a medium-like um, option. Hmm. You can always try it on more pressure. That's true. That's when true. in doubt, always add more pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking canvas, I, I feel safe with canvas. Okay. It'll be pretty thick, and I'm going to give it a little bit more pressure, too, because I, yeah. I want this to cut flawless. Like, we're on live, so we want to be... We want to make sure you guys are taken care of. Now, for my Explore friends, let's head over to the Cricut. If you are using an Explore, you will use, you don't have, you'll use like a light grip to a restraint standard grip mat because your fabric is going to be bonded. What you can bond your fabric with, um, they have it in the sewing area. Um, it is like Easy Bond heat or and bond. Heat and Bond. Thank you. It is called yeah. Heat and Bond. It works flawlessly. Yeah. Um, and I love it. And look at this. We're just going to load this in. Ta-da! It's going to go ahead and measure our mat. And what we need to do before we press that flashing play button is we are going to change out these blades. One thing I want to let you all know, your rotary blade should always naturally rotate. So make sure it's never too taut there. That's something I learned working um, in partnership with Cricut. And once it's there, Boom. Once you're ready, press that play button and we're gonna watch it cut on right here. So woohoo! I learned how to use dishwasher safe Mod Podge for tumblers and ceiling, but didn't realize how easy this product is to use, Aaron. I'm so glad you learned that from Makers Gonna Learn video. You're amazing. And Sadie just dropped the link if anyone is on the fence about joining the membership. Join today and we'd love to give you a shout out. Use that coupon code craft at checkout. I mean, we would love to see you say yes to membership today. Look at this. Terry also asked, will the $30 offer be good till the end of the month of April? Yes. So you will be able to use that. Just keep it in your back pocket so you can be able to use that. Okay. So oh, that didn't. didn't cut through perfectly. That's shocking to me. So we're going to press the play button again. That's a secret. Before you unload any material, you can press that play button again um, and it'll cut through again. Dun, 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 dun. That dun, happened dun. to me um, with so many different things really, yeah. but having that, being able to press that play button without unloading and making sure has changed my cricketing game. I love it. Okay, so. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my goodness. Still uh, not cutting through? No, 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 it is. Okay, so we're gonna unload the mat. Okay. All right, let's go overhead. Dun, dun, dun. It's like, Tanner, we didn't do anything. What's happening? <gasps> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Look at that. I know. How about it? It's always so How? satisfying. <laughs> it really is. I love that. Okay, so we can peel this up. I can we just brag on the cricket? I could never cut this circle with scissors. Mm -mm. Just a preference. Like this is something you would never be able to do, okay? So we have our circle over here. All we're gonna do is peel off these little sticky um, grips. They're so sticky that we'll actually be able to just peel them right, put them right back in place. I'm just keeping them to the side. Okay, so peeling them off. Now what we'll do now is all we're gonna do is grab our um, paintbrush and we're gonna grab our Mod Podge, ta-da. Get us quite a bit here, and we're gonna start a nice coat right here. Love this. And this is gonna be like a medium coat. So Diana asked, I got here late. Can you use a spray on Mod Podge? So we're this is actually dishwasher safe. So it's not the same as the spray on. Correct. And this is just gonna be even more durable. So yeah. If you don't want it to be durable, use spray. Use use whatever you want. You can I support whatever you all want. Remember that. Okay. I forgot to set this up for you guys to see on camera. Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is actually amazing. So we'll actually seal any edges that we need to, um, but the circle was perfect. So I'm gonna remove off some Mod Podge. And Mod Podge is just like a thick glue. So you can like rub it to your finger if it gets on there. Um, and that's awesome. But what we need to do now is we need to do three coats. So we need to do three coats here to our Mod Podge now that it's glued down. So I'm just gonna grab my Mod Podge. I'm just gonna start applying some Mod Podge on here. It's really interesting to watch this Mod Podge like seep into the fabric. Mm -hmm. So you can like, take it over here to the edges Make sure it is covered, things like that. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, so good. Yes, so, or well, with the Cricut, with the Cricut Air, can they cut with the Cricut Air or is it just Explore? So the Cricut so Explore Air. Air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm you, getting rough. It's okay. So yes. We are saying that you can cut fabric with the Cricut yes. Explorer Air, whatever. Just follow the proper procedure. You the are proper going steps. to add heat and bond or bond your yes. fabric first. And there's a bonded fabric setting yes. on the Cricut. So you don't have to like try to do any crazy, like, oh my gosh, what setting do I use? Tanner, help me. No, the Cricut's already got you. The Cricut's got you. Bonded fabric. You're not the first person to cut bonded fabric, which is awesome. Should you use your brayer over the cloth when you first put it down to avoid bubbles? You can if you I want to. I did not to. have a be, single. But we don't have one in here right now. Yeah, I didn't have a single issue. So that's just my personal experience. Notice I am just working on these edges because they want, I want them to look so good and finished. So I'm just like applying it down with my finger and then just taking it, brushing some on here. It's actually a really fun project, guys. Like, I I love doing something a little bit different. I feel like sometimes the projects we do are all kind of the same. And this is something totally different. And we did have somebody say earlier how this was such a, um, they, like, such a good return on investment kind of yes. thing if you do craft fairs. And this is one where you can actually make these ahead of time with the fabric behind it. Yeah. And then bring, if you bring your Cricut with you or depending on what size, if you had like a joy, you could pack it up and bring it yes. with you and customize it so easily. Mm -hmm. And when you customize it, instead of just saying, um, you know, welcome to my home family or, or welcome yeah. home, and you actually put somebody's name on it, you can just charge a couple value. more dollars. Yeah, it ups the value, which we are super um, all about here at Makers Gonna Learn. We love that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything I can prop this up on, but I guess I'll just hold it. So we're gonna let this coat draw. So now is a great time. You guys know at this time in the video, there's certain trainings that 
we don't want to have one like all the way done so you guys can learn with us that's why some of these shows are really long and i have I mean, Lauren and I both have a lot to say, so <laughs> it's, mean, a, it's a tag team here. Always. Um, but ask us your questions. Do you have any questions about membership, decoupage? Uh, you know, you're about to see the heat transfer vinyl technique. It's really awesome. Um, and I'm super excited for you guys to be able to do that. But I'm just going to apply. I recommend three coats, but for today's video, I'm just going to do two and maybe do a little heat setting, depending on how many questions we got. So just let me know. So we have about 208 friends oh my watching goodness. with us. So many. But hello, I feel hello, like hello. You all have been quiet today. Like yeah. not asking as many questions. Maybe you're just like so entranced. By I don't the know. I'm kind montage. of in a different vibe today too, if we're being honest. Um, yeah, there's a shift. It's very interesting. So let us know. Let us know what you're up to. If you're on other tabs, come back to us. Say hello. So Denise said, "What happens if I if it cuts the fabric? If it, or if it." misses parts of the fabric the first time and you cut it again will it cut your mat so that rotary blade if you have a maker and you're using the rotary blade even on more pressure like the most pressure i don't it's not gonna cut through a mat no no you have more chances of snapping a mat yourself than yeah. the cricut blades actually doing that yeah um i'm trying to see if i have a heat gun in here that i might want to heat set this with because that is actually a really good technique when you are working with material like this. But yeah, that's a great question. Do, 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 do. Michelle, yes, the MU, the Maker University <gasps> modules will come out every Monday. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. How many of you are enrolled in Maker U? If you're not registered, let us know if you are interested and you want us to share more about it. If not, totally understand. Um, we're so excited. Maybe it's the weather, it's kind of rainy. It, it's been cold here, but it, today it warmed up. Yeah. Um, but it's been been interesting. But it's been such a different day all day. Listen, y'all. Normally, when I do organic <laughs> videos or In film videos, filming. yeah, like it doesn't take me <laughs> all that long, or it doesn't now. It used to take me a little while. I filmed half of a video this morning, and it took me two hours. Like, oh, my gosh. And I've been telling them here in the office, and I've said it. I think this is probably like the third or fourth time I've said it. Someday you're the windshield, and someday you're the bug, and today I was the bug. Um, I've had a string on my shirt people have uh, been trying to let me know about. I kept thinking it was on the project. I never thought somebody would want to like tell me about my shirt. Yeah. Thank you, Aaliyah, and all the other friends that did. Um, yeah, it is so much fun. We're gonna let this dry for another second or two. Maker U is open. So if you register today, you're gonna get access to module one. Um, you can use that coupon code Maker U. And yeah, it's been a little bit different here. I am working in, on multiple different projects right now. Um, oh my gosh, Sin is still getting snow. No. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed with the snow we got this year. I don't know what I could care less. Uh, Bring on the lake and summer know, and heat. I know, I know, I know, I know. Also, Maria, um, Marina said, are you applying oh, Mod Podge to the wrong side of the fabric? So what we're on doing- On the back side. On, where the, the pattern side is face down on the yes, glass. So, so that you, you can, can see, see the it. pattern through the glass. So yeah. yes, we're applying it on the back side. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Sadie, if you look at our MGL links, um, you can have the link straight to the Maker U. Oh, it's so it's makersgonnalearn.com slash university if you just want to grab that. Thank you so much, my friend. Oh, Michelle M Michelle says, amen, Lauren. <laughs> I feel you. I did not buy it brand new. Oh, please share about Maker University, Christina. So it's really for anyone that is ready to elevate their cricketing journey um, and they're ready to say yes to learning new things. So we have four modules, one coming out each week. This week, we taught on design space. Next week, we're teaching on paper. The next week, I believe, Wood. Timber. Uh, timber. And then the last one is all about textiles. So there are so many amazing things you can learn. Um, and it's really helping elevate like your entire craft process, which we absolutely love. So um, that's at makersgonnalearn.com slash university. You can do a pay in full, pay in two payments, or pay in three. So whichever one you want to do, you'll be able to do. So yay. And Sadie, if you want to grab the link for another YouTube video, they're all there too. So that'll be awesome um, for anyone. But yay. Oh, Daisy, yay. I love that you're going through the 30 day challenge. The Maker University is really for members that 
want to level up, want to do something different and things like that. So we're so excited to have you. But okay, this is drying well. It's thicker Mod Podge, so you do have to let it dry quite a bit. So I'm looking for something I might run. If we take the camera on Lauren, I might run out and grab a heat gun. So let's take the camera over to Lauren. Lauren, have your have your break. Hi. <laughs> so Krista asked, how much is it to join Maker U? So I'll have Sadie drop that link. Um, it is actually $50 off right now, which I think brings it down to $247. Correct me if I'm wrong, Miss Sadie. I'm pretty sure that's it. Um, but she will drop that link for Maker University and you can sign up there if that's something that you would like to do. Now, if you jump in on it now, you're still kind of ahead of the game. If you go ahead and sign up today, um, they can still join our Zoom calls, correct? They, or is that still just for the 250? Zooming it up tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm super excited. But now you don't, the only thing is you don't get the mugs because that was That was only, that was a 250, yeah. But if you jump in today and you decide yes today, then you still get access get to the all of the Zoom calls for all of the modules. And what that is going to be is you can ask your questions to us yes. personally if you have anything that you want clarified. Yes, and the main reason we're doing this is to make sure, I mean, ultimately Maker University is gonna be a program to where you can take whenever you want. Whenever you're ready to take that next step of your crafting, it'll be available to you. But since this is our first time and we know that there's always ways to improve, that's what the calls are for. Extra clarification, anything like that, um, you'll be able to do. So if you're like, oh my gosh, I want in, but I can't do it right now, no worries. It will be available to you when it is when you are available um, to do that. So, yay! Yolanda, hey! You haven't answered my question. Why did you weld instead of attach? Great question. Yolanda, there are days where I just want to make sure everything is staying in place. Attaching would have done that and none of my layers touched. So following proper protocol, you're correct. I should have attached. But today, I just welded. I knew I'm not using the project again, nothing like that. So it's all good. That's an amazing question. Thank oh, you, Oh, we my have friend. a friend, first timer watching from Puerto Rico. <gasps> and I just got my first Cricut Ultimate Cutting Machine. Is this the Cricut Maker? I've never heard Cricut use the terminology ultimate cutting machine. Yeah, it's kind of, um, we'll, we would love to help you kind of elaborate on that. If Is it the... Um, it should say on there an explorer or a explore maker. Explore air or a maker, maker three. Yeah, anything like that would be amazing to know. And we could help you know what to, what to do with your machine and things like that. So um, I'm just making sure there's no excess Mod Podge because we don't want that on here. Love that, rubbed a little off, okay. So that is already set. Um, and as you can see, like once it's set, it's like not tacky or anything, like it's pretty dry. Um, now what we're going to do is just have it here and we are going to, I already cut out and um, weeded our project today. So this is the This Is Us, which we designed together, customized, and we cut it. So I'm going to preheat my mini easy press to level, you know, I'm going to level three because this is on glass and it's texture glass. So this is the only part of the process that you may, that is going to be the hardest. So definitely get excited to, um, excuse me. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, definitely get excited for learning about this and it is so, so exciting. Um, and we cannot wait. So Kathy says, do you have any suggestions for doing this project for an engaged couple slash family? Oh, that's such an you interesting could put question. A, you could put a ring, like a cute Ooh. ring on it. You could just put their name on it and then establish the year they were married. Yeah. There's all kinds of things you could do You could do, this. you could really do whichever. Yeah. There's so many. I mean, whatever works for you. If you are thinking about membership real quick, I've shared kind of like our pricing tier. So share. let's go over to the share screen. And what I want to show you real quick is the different tiers of membership. So you can be a monthly member at $19.99, where you get access to our cut file library, brand new cut files every month, hundreds of fonts, new font releases, our member only group, our printable guides, and you get a amazing, amazing 
ad-free experience. So that is super, super fun. You can do that. Such a low ask. I mean, $20 to get access to all of that today is incredible. Now, if you're saying, Tanner, I love you guys, but I need help with more. That's where I want you to look at our annual membership right here, okay? The annual membership gives you everything monthly does, but we've enticed you with more, okay? More. You're gonna get a commercial license to make money crafting. You're gonna get the 30 days to master your Cricut challenge. You're getting the frame building masterclass and 20 plus classes altogether. So that is incredible. Today, you say yes to year membership. Click that join now and you're going to use the coupon code CRAFT today. That's going to take the year membership price, which is right here. That is going to drop it down an extra $30 with that coupon code. And oh, front porch crafting. I signed up for the year a couple weeks ago. I'm loving it. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. So use that coupon code. Look at what you're saving today. Um, and it is incredible. So go sign up if you haven't already. You can use the This Is Us personalized files and so much more. So our easy press is ready. So we're going to dive back over to the um, overhead and we're going to um, start easy pressing. So this is exciting. We did have someone say, I was wondering what if we put HTV on the fabric and then glued it on? I thought about that too, actually. We did think about that. And we talked about that earlier. Our only concern is where the glass is textured that you wouldn't be able to see what the words are saying. Now, if it was a non-textured cutting board or cutting like cutting glass, then yeah, you could do that to the fabric and then put it, mod podge it on. Yeah. And then you could actually still use it. That's true. That is true. But with the textured glass, because we were really going for the Dollar Tree, like these come from Dollar Tree. Yes. They're very- They're um, very affordable. Very affordable. We love that. But it would work. It's, I think it would work, it's just, would you be able to read it? Yeah, that's what our concern was. That's like our biggest concern. And notice how I'm just giving a little bit of time for each area. The technique is as it's still warm to peel up and you'll be pretty impressed with how well it works out. Um, if there's areas that are not adhering down, just go over them and let them set for a second and then peel up. So I like to kind of give everything a hit um, before it you know, can move around. And then after it's hit, we can go into any detail spots, okay? So now we can start peeling up here. And look at that. This is us, looks good. This looks good. This area needs a little bit more. So then we come in here, rub, rub, rub. Look at that. And then this letter, the Y over here. So I'm gonna switch hands. And you can see this needs to be down better. And look guys, when you take this nice and slow, you're not going to have any, any issues whatsoever, which is what we love. So BJ asked, when do you do a warm versus cold peel? And that Ooh. really has a lot to do with the medium your work, like what you are putting it on, I think. Yes, I and totally really, agree. I think it depends a lot on the fabric. Like if you're putting it on a shirt too, there are some fabrics that I have to do, I feel like I have to do a, a warm peel on and some that I'm like, if you peel it up when it's warm, it's going, it's not staying. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you really learn as you go. Um, what I want to direct you all to, look at how great this is. Oh my goodness, I love that. In the Cricut Printable Guide, we kind of took the guesswork out of all the major fabrics. So if you flip around here um, inside, you're gonna see for whatever material you're using, we tell you peel off warm, peel off cold, peel off warm. You can flip through and see the difference. That's one of the things you get when you say yes to Makers Gonna Learn. This is like your holy grail. There's so many things in there. This is a vintage version. You're gonna mm -hmm. see the version look a little different on the website today. So that is that. But look at this, guys. Now you have your amazing, amazing plate. Um, and it's super awesome. You can also check out the one we did earlier so you could do more, um, you know, other patterns. This gives you an idea of you know, there's some people that may have different last names and things like that. You don't have to do one of these. You could do either one um, and it is super fun. I will tell you, Lauren, I thought about 
flipping the glass since I took the little bottom pieces off. I thought about decoupaging onto the textured side mm -hmm. and being able to do the heat transfer on the other side. But then I was like, you know, I don't want to confuse anybody today. Right. So I'm adding my grips back. But that's the cool thing about these Dollar Tree, um, that, like the Dollar Tree cutting boards that you get or really anything um, that you're crafting with is it's so inexpensive that you can try out these different things. Well, like you can try. I mean, how much do we really have invested here? A dollar twenty-five cutting board or dollar ten? What's the new Dollar Tree price? A dollar? I, I don't know. Um, you have the cutting board, you have the piece of fabric, and you have the heat transfer vinyl. And really, That's you it. could do that with scrap vinyl. Oh yeah, scrap pieces of fabric too. I mean, these are eight inch by eight inch pieces. Yeah. Nothing insane and you guys can rock your world with these projects, which is what we super, super love. And we're so, so excited that you were able to do that. So this is your project today, my friends. What questions do you have? Let us know here in the comments. I'm going to go join Lauren with my water and we'll answer all your questions regarding this project. We did have a couple people asking if they could use a larger heat press <gasps> okay. instead of the mini one. So when the mini easy press came out, the whole Makers Gonna Learn team was like, why, why do we need a mini easy wow. press? Then we got the mini easy press and we're like, wow. Why did we even think about not getting it? Because we thought bigger is better. And that's proven to not always be the case. Um, if you watched my technique, rewind after we talk about this, um, the technique is being able to go in those tiny pieces, give them the extra heat they need and then being able to move on, move on really quick. What will happen and I could probably reference some of my older heat transfer vinyl on wood videos. Wood is not always perfect. We know that. It was very hard for me with a 9 by 9 easy press to perfectly iron on that wood every time. Because what happens is you apply it down, and just like with your clamshell and your other presses, those issue spots that are causing you trouble, it's hard to remove and move it around. Um, we've had some questions like why heat transfer vinyl, not regular vinyl. Um, regular vinyl on that textured surface would not be a friend. Mm -mm. That would not be a friend for me, Lauren. Mm -mm 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 -mm. No, 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 not for me. <laughs> yep. um, and you don't seal heat transfer vinyl either. That's a great question. We, we sealed the fabric. Yep. One friend did say, you just gave me a great idea, do the etching on the back and then use the speedball paint and then put the fabric over top of it. <sighs> Mind blown. I love that. That would be amazing. Yeah. You guys are awesome. That is so much fun. Could you place a jar candle on top without harming the vinyl? For sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, no worries at all with that. That is amazing. That is incredible. So, yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Lorraine, that I inspired you with the fabric. The team is awesome. Oh, Yolanda's gonna try that today. Uh -huh. I'm excited, Yolanda. You're gonna love it. I'm so glad. You're, Yolanda is, kind of wins a special award for catching me on the welding versus attach, which I appreciate. Yep. Um, and it's awesome. Does anyone know if the Dollar Tree Cricut vinyl is a good buy? Terry, you must be new around here. And the reason why is because I have a documentary yeah. <laughs> that you need to go watch. A field trip. It was a field trip. We go to the Dollar Tree, we pick up the Dollar Tree vinyl, we talk about it, we test it, we test it, we test it, we test it, and we get it to work. Mm -hmm. And then I review it. It's a it's a long video. It's like 20 minutes. Um, but there's almost 300,000 views, and it's it's much more enjoyable to just in, like enjoy rather than like learn. It's a different style. Yeah. Um, Jacqueline says, how much would you sell this for? <gasps> Lauren, I don't know, like $20? It's not a $15 to me. I feel like, you know, you've got the time with your, your spending, you know, making sure it's quality, you're cutting your fabric, you're doing the heat transfer. There's a lot of steps. Yeah. So your material's low, but your time is more so what you're having to pay yourself for. Absolutely. And it really depends on I don't, that's the thing is, I don't like putting a price. I know. Because I put a price on what I think it would be in my area. But then yeah. I think of it being in someone else's area. If you're in a more urban setting, yeah. it's probably going to go a lot higher than yes, a rural setting. Yes, 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 yes. I yes so I don't, I don't want to say, I don't know. It's hard. It really is hard. I'll, that's why if you're in Design Make Sell, and again, this next month in May, we'll really hone in for a lot of you guys that are interested in on that. 
um, there's a lot of metrics we can do together. Now, we had a friend that asked um, more info, info on Makers U. I'm concerned that I'm not going to be able to easily find items in Canada. So, Jeff, um, we have a team member actually in Canada, um, so we could help you locate anything you need. There's not any material that I can think of off the top of my head that is not available or, you know, it's we're not using, like, off-the-wall products. No, so, like, the most off-the-wall I'm using buffalo leather, like buffalo hide, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, that might be one. That's a little different. A little different, but you could find um, similar things. I think Caitlin uses, does she use Speedball ink? Maybe, yeah, that but you could find that at one. some of the art stores in right. Canada. Like, I, I've done research and kind of compared. I don't think, Jeff, you're going to have any issues finding these materials in your area. Now, obviously it'll be a different place. Mm -hmm. um, I, Amazon Canada is still a great option for a lot of us. Um, so yeah, that's a great question. Um, and you're gonna love it. I mean, there's so many advanced projects in there. You're gonna have a lot of fun and we're so, so excited for that. So yay, I love that. Oh my goodness. Are there any other questions, y'all? It is now, oh my goodness, it's 2.38. We had so much fun cutting, applying, cleaning the mat. Lots of fun today. So yeah. let us know if you guys have any last minute questions before we head out. I love this project. We're so excited. Lauren, do you know? Let me, let's, can we check and see if we have another live plan for this week? I'll check Go real ahead, quick. You check. I'll check real you quick. Check. We'll check. We'll see what else we've got going on today, later this week. Oh my goodness. So we don't have another one planned. So Not we'll be back this week. This we week. Next, we'll be, week. next week, we've got some really fun paper projects, yeah. 3D. Um, and I'm really excited for you guys to see the pizza pan door hanger, which is going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. And speedball paint. Um, is a lot. You can research it. It's really, really good for screen printing and things like yes. that. So you'll you'll love it. Um, and yay, that is so fun. Love it, love it. Um, Sadie did drop the links. It's the heart emoji one for Maker University. Mm -hmm. um, and can you use this as a trivet or will the vinyl come off? What do you think? I don't think the vinyl would come off. I don't think so. Yeah, I, think I mean, you, it's I think heat you're transfer good. vinyl. It's, it's on. Like, it's yeah. on really well. Um, so that is awesome. Yes, Terry, go check out that video. You'll love it. Um, love it, love it. Oh my goodness. Betty, I just turned it on to like low. Yeah. I just let it, it just helps speed up the process because we're wasn't on live. The, listen, the heat gun was not something that you had to do to let that dry. Really and truly, if we were doing this again, we would let it air dry. Yes. And not put the heat gun to it, but because we were on live and we were crunched yeah. for time. Of course. That's why we did that way. At home, like apply coat 20 minutes later apply second coat mm -hmm. you can apply your second and third coat while it's still tacky but it's still down yeah. so yay that is awesome love it love it well guys thank you so much we'll be back at makersgonlearn.com real you go over to makersgonlearn.com and join if you haven't already get in the facebook group we'll be back next week for more live streams and we are super excited thank you thank you thank you we'll see you back here real soon bye, bye guys